In this clip, you will learn how to use the mesh random node to modify randomly the position of your mesh objects. So, in the previous clip, we had configured our mesh distribute to create a cube for each face of our text, which leaves us with a kind of bulky, cubey version of our text. Because visual effects and motion design are all about exploding things, Let's do that right now. If you want to follow along and you didn't complete the previous clip, you can open the Maya file m2-01.mb. This file is located in the scenes directory. If I select my mash1 in the outliner, I can see under the mash1 tab quite a long list of nodes. This is all the operations you can do with mash. And trust me, with these 26 nodes, you can do all your creative dreams. Okay, let's add a node. And for our effect, I'd like to add a random node. I will click on random and then click on add random node. Right away, you can see that your cubes are spread in random directions. Let's make it more obvious. Let's increase the position X, Y, and Z to 10. Now we're talking. I could choose to randomly affect the rotation and the scale as well. But in our case, the position is enough. If you are not satisfied with the randomness, you can try other versions by modifying the seed here. Each node can be enabled or disabled with this checkbox here at the top. Now you can control the strength of this effect and this tab here is in almost all mesh nodes. And as you can see, as I'm moving that slider, I can see my text being constructed or destroyed. And I'm sure you already understood. This is what I want to do here. Yeah, I want to animate that slider. Yeah, in Maya, you can almost animate any parameters you want. And this is how MASH is incredibly powerful. Playing with all these sliders and animate them can quickly create amazing results. We didn't even scratch the surface of MASH. But I'm sure that you already understood all the potential of it. Just with these two nodes we just saw, the distribute node and the random node, you can already create amazing things. All right, let's do this. I will make sure my playhead down here is on frame one, and I will do a right click on the strength parameters here and click on set key. Now I will go on frame 50 and I will reduce this attribute to zero. Do a right click again and set key. Now, if I scroll my timeline, I can see these exploded cubes come together to form my text. Already a cool effect, isn't it? In what, five minutes? All right, now I'd like these cubes to be invisible at the beginning and appear at the building the text. Let's do that in the next clip. See you there.